Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Henry Mr. 83 coming with a quick uh, pickup slash review um, here. Quick review. I mean, there's probably going to be a ton of these. So I did say I had one big pickup, which means a lot to me. It's kind of like a growl. And it was basically the first um, pay, uh, what, first sneaker I bought with my first paycheck, like actual real paycheck, my first J's. And I don't know if I said this story a couple of times, but it was back in the days, back in 2002. Um, I finally got my first like real, real, like legit. Well, I can't say I didn't work legit before, but my first legit working job with um, a company. So, um, yeah, my first paycheck, I grabbed it. And when it caught me a pair of J's. So let's get right into it. As y'all can see, it comes from finish line. Um, I'm amazed that they still had them. I mean, I was there. I just got home like about 10 minutes ago. And while I was in the mall, I even heard there was a restock on the fours. There's, um, if there's a restock on the fours and on these, there's going to be a restock on those Columbia 11s. So whoever was going crazy for the Columbia 11s, just to let you know, they will be coming soon. Um, that restock at least. Uh, so as y'all can see, this is the new Jordan box. I don't mind it, but to me, I'm sorry to say, but it's a lot weaker than the older one. Y'all can see right there. It's kind of backwards, but y'all know what it is. Uh, it is the Air Jordan Retro Set. I mean, the Air Jordan 7 Retro. And these are the white, French blue. University blue flint gray. Um, if y'all don't know what these are, these are the French blue sevens. Obviously, you guys just said the color, the new paper. I don't know if y'all can see the 23s all over it. That's pretty dope. I mean, I wish the box would have been a little better, but hey, it is what it is. So here we go. We got here the sevens, which I'm gonna tell y'all off the bat. Um, uh, does bring me a lot of memories back, but it's, I can tell the differences already. Um, to me, a lot of people said, excuse me, um, a lot of people said that these right here, um, these right here, um, are basically almost alike. I feel them like they're a little bit lighter, which is better to me. Um, that I remember, um, but remember these came out in 2002 and I had them all the way to 2004, I could say 2005, cause in my feet, I don't know what happened. They just stopped fitting and I gave them out away. Um, even though this toe cap yellowed, um, which I'm gonna be afraid of, but it is what it is. We have several of, uh, paint now for them. So why not? Um, so let's get right into it. Uh, as y'all can see, well, if y'all don't remember or whoever those that remember OG had this whole thing, as they said in the So Collector video, these this was leather in the middle and the tongue, and now it has a neoprene, whatever it's called. Um, go check them out. They did a pretty good in between both. Um, I will say this, though. The tumble leather here and this part right here of the sevens, Sorry to say, but it was all around, and this one does not have it. Um, this one is like a more rough textured over here, over here, all around here. Well, not here and here. That's more textured tumble leather, and then on the toe cap, and on some spots here is more of a smooth tumble leather. So I guess you get two types of tumble leather. I'm not sure it's it turned out that way because the way when they stretch it to sew it or whatever but um it feels kind of smooth here but it's still it's still leather you can smell the leather um it, it smells amazing um but it's basically almost the same as um 2002's uh like i said if you want to go see in the review or i mean a, a comparison between both the 2002 and the 2015 um go check them out at Soul Collector, I don't have both. Like I said, I gave mine away back in the day, and then they got dogs. So, 
I kind of wish I would have kept him just for nostalgia, but it is what it is. Um, I do remember, and it was right. So Collector was right that the this right here, this um logo right here or whatever it's called, that was a lot bigger back then, um, and it was a lot lower actually. If I'm not wrong, this was down here. Like this was under this part right here. I don't know why they did that. But it is what it is. Um, I'm just happy I have them. It is a nostalgia. It's kind of a growl. Um, <laughs> the quick story is I actually went to see. Wait, I still remember the day. So I went, um, I got my check, got paid, got it uh, cashed, went straight to the mall, um, the other mall, because um, I'm not sure why I went to that mall to grab it. I still don't remember that much, but. I went to that mall. Um, oh no, I called because remember back then you didn't, you you know, it was still kind of iffy back then. So back then I called and nobody had him in the mall where I worked at. And I went and I ended up going to the other mall, which is about a good, I could say. And 45 minute bus ride or more probably. Um, ended up going to that mall and I got there and they didn't have the Raptor or what they call the Raptors, but it's the Charcoal Sevens. And I ended up um, liking actually these a little bit better. Um, and the whole craze between the baby blue and the navy blue was, you know, so hyped. So at the time so I ended up getting these instead of the set the charcoal sevens you know now in all honesty I would have preferred the charcoal sevens I still kind of do um but I'm gonna tell y'all this like this is nuts like y'all can see right here how good the tumble leather I don't know if y'all can see right here but that tumble leather is bananas um let me there we go let's focus here. um very dope though I mean I cannot hate on this sneaker like I said, nostalgia wise, it's there for me. It reminds me of the ones I had back then. And I can't wait. Can't wait for the Bordeaux. I can't wait for um Oh yeah. Oh, it is true. Okay, so I don't know if y'all gonna be able to tell. Did they use metal finally? Nope, plastic. These were metal back then. I do remember that. These were metal, so they, come on, they should have just gave us our metal accolades, whatever they're called. They should have just given us the metal ones. And if I don't, if I recall, they used to have a jump man on them. I don't remember too well, but that's one difference. And then inside, we had more, I don't know if y'all can tell right there. Y'all can see right there. Uh, that's like the, dark, the, the navy blue or whatever it's called. Back then it was the the baby blue right here, or Carolina blue, whatever you want to call them. And I mean, there's a couple of difference, but you can't go, you can't you can't argue with it. It's just dope. I mean, it's just a dope sneaker. Uh, it's clean. It is true to sevens that the patterns are different. It would have been crazy to have the first one that has basically similar patterns, but wow, I can't wait to rock these. Bringing back memories. So yeah, enough blabbing about this. The video's gone too, a little bit too long. Um, go ahead and check out the past vids. Uh, I'm about to do uh, uh, basically everything that I've picked up this week. Um, and I'm about to do that video. Y'all go ahead and check that after this one. Go ahead and check out the other pickups. Um, some of the pickups. Um, some of the pickups on that video. I have not posted a video on them because to me it's just uh, miscellaneous. Oh. I did rock my Orlando hat. I did end up rocking my Orlando um, foam posit ones because it's nasty outside. And you can't go wrong with foams. I mean, these ones are so dope. People were looking at my feet and they were like, yo. But it is what it is. This is Hunter Mr. 83. Thank you for checking out my vids. Go check out my Instagram. My Twitter, Henry Mr. 83, the same as here. Um, 
What else? Yeah, go check out my vids, guys. Comment, like, subscribe. God bless. Later.